Hello you guys. Today I want to show you how I use uh, convert morph and what is that useful for. So, let's go in floor plan. I'm always deactivating the grid display when I don't need it. So, now I'm going to go to objects. I want to show you something about chairs. Let's say I I like this chair. So, okay. And where is the other one? And this one. Okay. I'm going to go to generic perspective and select the object, right click, convert selection to morph. Click OK. Now, when an object is converted to morph, all the parts are independent morphs. Like you can select, I selected this, now I select the bottom. So, look like this. So, I'm going to delete this, this, and this. There are lots of parts. I'm going to do the same thing to this chair. So, right click, convert selection to more, click OK. Now, I'm going to click on upper part and I'm going to move it a bit. And up more <laughs> so you can't see the bottom anymore. Okay, I will delete this. Well, it's not really centered, so I'm gonna go to the ground floor and I'm gonna move the upper side. Like this? I don't know. Let's see. After you get the shape that you want, you can select all, go to file, libraries and objects, save selection as object. Click OK. I'm going to call it my chair. Zero, zero, 001, click save, okay, if you don't want to change the material that I used. When I go on object, the last object selected is the last one we saved. So, this is a morph that we didn't, well, if you want to move all the pieces, you need to go to right click, boolean operation, here. So now we have here we have a morph, and here we have an object. Okay, I'm going to delete this now. Because I want to show you something about windows and doors. So I'm going to make a wall. So I'm going to make it white. Well, isn't that okay? It doesn't matter how long it is. I'm going to go to window. I want a double stash window. And I want to use this one too. Okay. And I'm going to go to doors. And I'm going to use this door and I would like something with double or double door. Okay. Well I don't want to see this mark so um, the marker I'm gonna choose no marker here. 
Okay, so go to generic perspective. Uh, the door here has the direction that you open. So I would like to deactivate that. So, which is in door settings and opening, opening lines. To do that, you need to hit on override and opening line deactivated. Uncheck it. And now there are no opening lines. So, first, I'm going to go to this window. What I want to show you is that you can edit this window for 3D purposes. So, if you want your render to look more realistic, you can convert this to morph. Click OK. Now, I'm going to click on this which is, is the glass click on this click on this control e for rotate it so you need to rotate it on the floor like this now it looks like an open window yeah so you can do this for your 3d i use always another document for 3D, so yeah, let's try also on this one, let's see if it works convert selection to morph so, this one doesn't have stash open, so I can't open it well, I can move it, but it's not gonna be correct yeah make sure you select a window that is not fixed. These are fixed windows. Okay, so for the door, you can do also what I did earlier convert selection to morph, click OK. So you need to make sure you select all the door. Yeah, one holding shift, holding shift. So I selected all the door, control E is for rotating. Make sure you're rotating on this side. So, you open the door. Convert selection to morph. Click OK. Let's see. Oh. Control E. Rotate it. Well, you need to know that when you will, if you will export it to Cinema 4D to render it, these will all come in parts. So if you want it to be only one door, you're going to need to select all of these morphs from one door and make it a union with Boolean operation to make sure you can edit correctly everything so a lot of elements here okay I hope there, uh, there's everything selected I hope so <laughs> yeah so ball and operation union So I guess is everything. Yes, well, so yeah. Great. This is all.